Welcome back to the shop. Today we are going to talk about printer safety. Yes, it happened. Apparently a GD caught fire. Somebody uh, lost their home. I'm looking at it right here on the Reddit. Allegedly it is a GD plus four. Uh, the man is claiming that he was not doing a heated chamber print. He was doing a PETG, so the chamber heater wasn't working. The SSR wasn't doing anything and still the printer caught fire. And it went, like he says, from zero to 60 real quick. He is also talking about what Chidi is doing, like banning him from the subreddit, uh, not reaching out to listen what happened. So it all seems to be very unfortunate. Of course, this is Reddit. I am not sure how much uh, truth is going to be in that post, but nonetheless, I think we can make a good video out of it. And it is mainly going to be how to do 3D printing in your home or like me in your shop safely. I'm going to talk about two things. The first thing is going to be what we can do as a consumer and then the second thing the brands that are selling these printers can do to make our lives safer. First of all if you have a 3D printer it's always a good idea to have some sort of a fire extinguisher. This is a foam one so if some of my printers are going to catch fire I have this bad boy to try and solve it. Also a great idea would be a smoke alert system uh, the things that you mount on your ceiling that when the printer is catching fire or there is a smoke in your house or shop that you get noticed that there is something going on really really bad. So we have the notifications then we have our fire extinguishers but those are all very active uh, counter measurements so you will need to be home. What can we do when we are not home? Now Wham Bam apparently has a solution for that they have some uh, it's looking like a puck you can put it on your printer and when that puck is going to get way too hot it is going to explode in a powder mist it's going to take away the oxygen i presume and it's going to try and uh, get that fire down there are also uh, things you can buy on amazon you have massive balls that you can hang right under here that when flames are shooting out of your printer and it catches the ball the ball will also explode in a powdery mess uh, trying to contain the flames and uh, yeah, get it rid that way. So there are a few passive ways to try and make your shop safer. So the fireball you can get, the, the puck you can get from uh, Wham Bam. And then of course, the thing that is very wrong in my shop is everything is contained in wood. This complete shop is wood. The shelving is wood, even the red trick build I did is completely made from wood. Wood is already pretty bad, but you know what's even worse? That's going to be plastic burning. Because, for instance, if this GD is going to catch fire, the plastic is going to start melting and then the gases are going to start igniting and then you get uh, pretty much the same as a petroleum fire. It is very hard to extinguish. Plastic burning is very hard to extinguish. Have plenty of these. Maybe also a fire blanket you can throw over your printer or if you really want to stack it up like I am doing, try to go for metal shelving. But like I said, if your printer is catching fire, all the plastics are going to burn so hard that yeah, it is definitely going to catch other stuff on fire that is sitting next to it, above, behind. So. Uh, that's point one. Then the second thing is try to stay in the neighborhood of your printer. Like the man is telling us on the Reddit, he went away for 15 to 30 minutes and the whole thing was a blazing fire at that point. So really sucks when these things are catching fire, things go very fast, like I said, the plastics burn really hard. So yeah, trying to stay next to your printer is also a good idea, of course. We all know I'm doing a 24 hour print job right now. It is impossible to stay at your printer. So you're always going to have a little bit of a risk. So make sure that where your printers are sitting, that you are well insured in the case that stuff like this will happen. My shop for instance, and everything inside is insured in the case that there is something catching on fire, that at least I have a good insurance covering my ass. And this is going to be the most important thing. What can manufacturers do to make our machines and our homes more safe? And that is going to be thermal fuses. We all know the regular fuses. If too much amps go through a fuse, it will pop interrupting the power and making everything safe again for the parts that are faulty. Well, the same thing can be done with things that catch on fire. So if you have components and most of the time 
the uh, problem starts at a component and probably uh, judging by what the man on the Reddit said, uh, that this, that was going through a thermal runaway, the nozzle or the bat, one of those things were probably uh, yeah, running away, getting way too hot, and then the plastics around it catching fire. Like in the print head, the print head can perfectly house a fuse, a fuse that pops when, uh, for instance, the temperature gets over 150 degrees at the control board. So all the boards and the printers should have a thermal fuse in my opinion. The power supplies, the main boards, the daughter boards, and then all the tool boards, like for instance in this board and the board on the Sovel SV08, even the Red Trick has a tool board that is communicating. There should be fuses and all of those components that when one of these components is catching fire, then the fuse will pop and maybe it will diminish the uh, amount of damage that will happen from an electrical fire. Because right now we can see that printer manufacturers are trying to uh, get the safety through software and not really through uh, hardware. They are relying on sensors. Sensors can fail and when sensors fail, we can get thermal runaways. When we get that, there is nothing else that will protect your house because it's not because your outlet is uh, fused for 15 amps as long as the printer has a thermal runaway that is under 15 amps main voltage. It will burn up really happy uh, without the house interrupting the power flow. For the companies that are watching this, I would really like to start seeing a thermal fuses implemented in the build chambers on the components just started to get dangerous if there is a thermal runaway. We can already see the good implementations on heated beds. Heated beds are most of the time AC when an AC heated bed doesn't work properly or the relay behind it uh, stays closed those pads, the silicone, it will start bubbling, it will start smoking, and eventually it will start catching fire. So what most people are doing is putting under the bed where the cabling is, they are going to put a thermal fuse in there that when the beds get way too hot, the fuse pops and you know that you have a defaultive heater. So we can really see right now that most of the companies do not include those type of fuses. Even the new build I did from the Rattrick, the heated bed is also AC and it didn't come with the thermal fuse. So if that heated bed will start to run away, there is nothing in the world that will save that printer from completely burning down. So this is going to be a very short video. I hope you took away something from that. I don't think that going down in the comments and start to use swear words or point fingers to anybody will help anybody. Just make sure that the first safety is going to be you, the idiot like me in front of the camera. I am doing a terrible job and after seeing that post I will most definitely get more uh, passive systems implemented like those pucks that will explode I will start to implement and glue them right over here where the printers are that if for some reason some of my printers catch fire that at least I have a first line defense if I'm not home. Then about GD it could happen to any manufacturer we could also see some realities catch fire so this is nothing new I'm afraid but I think the real problem right now is first of all we the community are not doing enough to keep everything safe and then secondly is to all the companies that are hopefully watching right now you need to do better and start to use thermal fuses everywhere you can possibly get them all right that's gonna be it guys keep yourself safe thank you so much for watching the video spread the awareness that 3d printers are not household appliances and that they can catch fire very easily that's gonna be it i see you in the next